Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the dyslexic gamer, as we carry on our playthrough of Atom RPG, where we are starting to look like a badass. Starting. It's a bit weird how we've got actually, because I I very rarely look at my character. You know, we very rarely have a look see at our character. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I, I, I thought it'd look a little bit derpy. I mean, it does a little bit, but that does also look cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll remove that. Um, so, yes, welcome back. So, in the last episode, um, we've done some odd things, to be honest with you. Um, we took out the, uh, the death gang, which was cool. We got some experience for that. Um... You might notice that we have 8 strength and 6 endurance. Now I didn't notice this until earlier, but when we went to the hospital, excellent health effect, 56 hours, it was 70 when I last looked, plus 1 strength and endurance. So us going to the hospital to get checked up, gave us a massive boost to our our strength and endurance i mean that that is a massive boost i didn't realize that so yeah if you can get your asses to the hospital you can you you too can get uh, get some nice bonuses which i'll probably be doing more often from now on or at least every time i go into the into the the Constance to many. But we are back at our base. Very little has happened. Um, I've spent about 20 minutes running around the wasteland hoping to find some goodies and not really finding anything. It's not been a good time. Um, at this stage in the game, it's still fun. It's still a fun game. I'm not going to try and say that it isn't a fun game. It is. But for a let's play, it is starting to eat up an awful lot amount of time. Which I'm not too happy about, to be honest. But for now, we will, uh, we will continue um, and keep moving forwards. But yeah, I may end up not doing a complete playthrough and we might look to find some... We might try and speed the rest of the game up, basically. Can you carry 60? You can't carry. <laughs> Fair enough. 50? You can't carry that much. Okay. 40. There we go. You can carry 40. Marvellous. Uh, Fidel, let's give you 40. <clears throat> which has basically got you over your limit. Wow. So, yes, we will... The, I will be looking to... get the game moving on a little bit. So we're not... Um, we're not wasting too much time. Uh, I believe that's all I want out of there. Yes. So I don't know... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to go to, like, the... The Cast Away Woe Pass. Um, the Dead City. I might go to the Dead City, because I haven't been there myself yet. Ooh. Got some new people. So, well, let's see what these new people are doing. Hello. Uh, what was his name? Gozin? And Gozin is rolling a cigarette. Productively? Predocially? Perceptibly? I don't know. He throws a... Uh, perceptively? Why not? He throws a glance at the... Downcast bearded man that stands near him. 
when he notices you, he lifts his uh, lifts his hand up. Hey there, soldier. Uh, look who we caught sneaking around a settlement. Don't know who he is. Most probably a spy. The man sighs sadly and shakes his head. Why did you bring him here? You should have just shot him outside, and that's it. Whose spy might he be? Who would be spying on us? He fixes his hair. These lands are not as calm as they seem. He may be working for slavers or bandits. Maybe you should ask him personally. The man lifts his head up and starts talking in a meek voice. If I may, I'm no spy, nor am I a thief. I just heard about the village and decided to offer my services. Who did you hear the intel from? From a trader. I met a caravan and people from it from it told me there's something akin to a settlement in these parts. It's just a rumour, but he also said people believed Atom owned it. So, there I was thinking I could help you people out because I have pretty rare skills. What sort of skills? But any words, the man shows his hands with long, thin fingers. These hands seem to have endured a lot of work. I can make ammo. If you provide me with a workstation, a workbench and resources, I can make pre-war, pre-war grade ammo. Anything, everything I ask in return is allowing me to stay here. Everything I ask. Yeah. How do you get this talent? I don't know. Never did it before the war, but after I suddenly became an expert. Back in my city of birth. Don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. When I was captured by bandits, made ammo for them. Took six years for me to escape slavery. So I went on walking the wastes and heard about your settlement. I decided it's time to find a place to live. Sounds great, you're hired. Uh, thanks a lot, you... You see how helpful I am. I'm going to start work right now. Well, would you look at that. Everything turned out well. Anyway, let's not keep you any longer. Yes, yes, you're kind of useless, but... I suppose you do a job here. Don't know what that job is, but you do one, apparently. So yes, this is our shithole of a base. So as you, uh, as you start filling stuff in, um, you'll start getting more bonuses. Like obviously, we'll have a, we'll have a bedroom here. We'll have a bathroom there. Living room, kitchen, workstation. Now I can't remember. No, I think I actually need to have everything on me. So, Verdell, please would you give me all of that? All of that. And then I need... Uh, where's all the paper? Did I take the paper? I really hope I took the paper. If it's still in the van, or well, in the car, I'll not be happy. No, 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 no. We have got it. Good, 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 good. Right. Now make sure you save it before you do this, because if you make the wrong ammo, there's no going back. <laughs> it's gone. Woo. Me spilt my drink. The man, <clears throat> excuse me. The man is leaning on the machine. In his eyes, there is a mischievous twinkle of a mad scientist. When he sees you, the man smiles and raises his hands in salute in salutation maybe um walk me through my options sir right 
Now, we're using a hunting rifle. Well, we're using a rifle. And then we want 726 times 5, 4. And we're going to get him to make four batches. So interesting. Well, to make 10 rounds, I will need four piles of uh, scrap metal, four heaps of waste paper, and not one, not two, but four handfuls of gunpowder. Make it so. Great. Um, I'll great. Come back in an hour. I'll put them in the box nearby. So he has three boxes, one for each, um, one for each ammo type, basically. So now, I think. Yes, we were able to wait an hour. So that should be our task done. So yeah, it took us 16 of each. I don't think I can move. No, I can't. Um, do I just... Hang on. Let me just... Because I've messed this up before in my own playthrough and regretted it mass uh, massively. 726 times 5-4. Seven two six five four. That is my choice. Make me more. So as I have mentioned, or maybe I haven't mentioned, um, the ammo that we are making now is probably, in my opinion, for where we are at the moment and how far I've got with the game, the best ammo. Let's make some more. I really hope, I, <laughs> I truly, truly hope I don't fuck this up and uh, end up making, like, I don't know, maybe there's a bug in the game where it's like, oh, you wanted to make this ammo? Oh, oh, but we made a terrible mistake. And this is also where the junk station, the junkyard comes in real handy because um, obviously... There's an awful lot of scrap there. An awful lot of paper. And an awful, awful lot of... <gasps> oh, 120 rounds. Da 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 Oh, if I had, if I had this in my play, private playthrough, I would be a god. I would truly massacre my enemies be something to behold okay so anyway so he will just put stuff in there um you can only do i think four at a time and considering now we have like at one point i'll probably start moving some things down here maybe i don't really know how much effort i want to put into the base sadly too many load screens Oh, is it raining? Okay, it's raining. So I don't know how often we've come across um, <clears throat> weather effects in this game, but you can actually get poisoned. Uh, yeah, toxic fallout is a thing in this game. It's just kind of rare. Ah, oh, Pesha. Pesha, you... You... Little legend. Uh, so what should we go for? I don't think I need want the kitchen yet. Without a bedroom. No, we're going to go for this one. Because I think this will give us the the uh, the gym. I'm not going to read it. It's pretty much the same thing. He takes our money and goes into a hole. Um, so the gym, you can work out there. And I think you get a strength bonus for a set number of hours. It's quite good. It is quite good. But, well, again, it's a set number of hours, so it can wear off at the worst time. A 
Okay. But now we do have an issue. The issue being, um, we don't actually have that many missions to do. The Paragon one is one that I really want to do. The issue with it is our people don't have good enough equipment yet. Damn it. That's quite loud still. I can't turn that effect down. It's quite annoying. Um, do I put in a cut here and we do something else? Do I go to like... Do we go to... Do we go to like the dead city? I mean that's somewhere where I haven't actually explored. It's going to cost us 5,000 to get over there. But I don't think we get to take our car either. Or do we go to the bunker? We could go to the bunker and just start moving towards the end of the game. It's something that I haven't really done done although if I were to go there I'd probably want that at max and our techno thing isn't that good either so we probably can't go to the bunker just yet which means oh, we're running out of places to go we are actually running out of places to go. This is depressing. Um, 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 um. So there are a couple of places that we could go, but they kind of, it'd be jumping missions forwards. Um... Um, 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 um. Okay. So we freed the girl. We did that. We did that. Let's come down here for a minute. We'll see if there's any more stuff we can scavenge. I might have to ditch the car somewhere. That's another option. We might have to ditch the car somewhere and go on a walk. Because... Back off. I need to do Kosolov's mission and I'm just I'm not finding the people who are meant to who are meant to do that for us. Uh, we're meant to find a trader. So what I'll do Huh. I swear that those are new sound effects. Why shouldn't Oh, they're not. I didn't actually take all of their loot. Ah. So yes, and I can't remember what we did here either. If this is all... ...being taken, or if... ...it's still... ...full of goodies. Now, we have quite a lot of... ...scrap? Metal scrap? Yeah. Um, I'm more of after newspaper. So, yeah, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put in a cut here. I'm going to have to put in a cut here. Um, I'll put in a cut here and we'll go... ...and leave our vehicle somewhere. And once we've left our vehicle somewhere, we'll go off and we'll look for... ...Kosolov's mission. Although... I've just looked over at the time for this episode. I don't think there's much point in me putting in a cut. Because by the time I put in a cut and bring you all back, it's pretty much going to be the end of, end of the episode. Okay. That's annoying. Yeah, that is, that is annoying. I didn't expect... I didn't think time had gone on. I thought we were like, you know, maybe 10 minutes into the episode. Not 20. Time flies sometimes when you're talking gibberish. 
you talk nonsense like I do, it's not surprising. I really should have shot some of those barrels to see what would happen. I've got a funny feeling we've we've taken all the all the stuff out of here because I have not found that much. Ugh, okay. I must have collected it before. Never mind, never mind. Right, so we shall go onwards and forwards, but of course never backwards. Um, so, if we dump this stuff off... I mean, I could go and kill the, uh, the guys at the carnival if I wanted to be an asshole. Um, I don't want to go to the Roaring Woods yet. That's something I definitely don't want to do. We're going to come to Constantia to Many. We're going to leave our vehicle and we're going to take a walk. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, if we go for a walk, we will um, come across some trade caravans because that's what we're looking for for Kosolov's quest. Um, and as soon as I get these bloody find this trade caravan we can start go moving forwards with the rest of the game I don't need this ammo and I'm wondering if it's this ammo that's weighing me down quite so much because I have noticed that uh, Lobot weighs an absolute shit ton and I'm not entirely sure where it's all come from because when you look he he doesn't actually have that much stuff on him uh, so yes we're gonna go and take a walk i put that on the bot want a few items so that we can sell them if we come across a random trader uh, give that give that give it to Fidel god it was so difficult to say that um was I wrong or did I see like a shitload of yeah a shitload of coffee that's worth a lot of money gimme um right I think that's good We are a male. We are a male. Give us the cologne. Because I keep forgetting that we can use that. And we can actually use it twice. Remember, all things can be used two times. They stack twice. Amazing. Right. That'll do. We're going to quick save it. I'm actually going to save it, save it. And then we're going to go on our way. In hopes of finding um, the merchant caravan that we need. So let us push forwards. And look, it, wherever you leave your car, you will get that symbol. So it's not like it's not like you're going to lose your vehicle. It's just. You need to go and collect it. I don't know what happens if you leave it on the world map. Bollocks, I didn't mean to do that. Um, if you leave it on the world map... Hang on a minute. Um, you stumble across a hive of arachnids. You know what? We're going to attack them. Because that's a different picture to the one that I'm used to seeing. Uh move to there take aim and fire <clears throat> well hmm. I don't actually know what you use the spider goop for but we'll keep hold of it um, how much experience did we get for that 57 that it oh my god oh I missed oh was hoping for a little bit more there Lobot but never mind there we go 
I, I think I'm going to like this gun. I think I'm going to like this gun a lot. How much does it cost to reload? Three? Excellent. Did it just give up? <laughs> it's like, no, he's too far away. I give up. Die. Wow, I didn't actually kill it. I really shouldn't be wasting this ammo like that. Let, let's. But then it's my only weapon that I've got equipped on my on my character, so. Yeah. I was expecting a bit more. I will be honest. Um. Well, no, there's there is something else that we have yet to figure out what. It is. I don't think it's here, though. I don't think it's here. No, it's not this one. So, remember, oh, is there no exit at the back? Oh. So, if you guys remember, there's one of these places around here has a tree with a hole in it. And it says that it feels like you're being watched. I still have no idea what that is. So, I was going to see if we go there at night time, if it, uh, if it still has this odd thing going on. I don't know if we're going to make it there now, because walking is slow. Oh, oh, finally, please, please tell me you're the ones I need. Quickly, quickly. See, now, if I was going to be a a real pain in the ass. I would actually cut it here for a cliffhanger, but I I just don't I don't care. I, I I'm not bothered. We're not going to talk about yes, yes. Right, first things first. Let's have a look what equipment they have. Do you have anything of any use, sir? You don't. I don't know what happens if you have all all the books either. Which is something I'd really like to know. Like, is there any point to having the books? Uh, who did I give a little bit of something something to to trade? I don't think I did give anything to anyone. Oh, it's fine. I know I have got stuff around. There it is. Wow, we've got 21 coffee. Okay. Just give him 15. And then we'll take the money. Listen, could you pull an old car to Oystran, uh, Oystranoia? It's currently at the old factory. I could do it for 400 rubles. But come on, the factory's so close. You'll benefit, you'll benefit even, you'll benefit even if you ask for less. No, okay, here's the money. I can't help it, sometimes I'm tight. Um, right, let's get going. I'm not going into these places. At the start of the game, they're really useful. You can get some cool loot um, for the start of the game. But at the point that we're at now, it's kind of pointless. Um, but the good thing, people, the good thing is that now that we've started this quest off, we now also have um, we have a mission that we can carry on with. So I'm not lost anymore. Um, we can go from one quest to the next to the next. Doomsday cultists, I just don't care about you. Their loot is so rubbish. So right, guys, this is where I'm going to end the episode off. So... I hope you've enjoyed this eh, bit of a rambly episode. If you enjoy listening to me ramble on, then it's a good episode. If not, eh, apologies. In the next episode, however, we will be going back to Oshdanch Domeni, where we will talk to the uh, to the comrade general, sir, about uh, his new his new toy that has arrived, and then we will uh, we will be carrying on with his quest. So. Hopefully you can join me in that. Join me in the next episode, uh, where we will where we will be doing that.
So, take care, everyone, and as always, bye bye for now. Thank <music> you.